Hey everyone, um, I thought since it's still a pretty sunny day outside, I just keep uh, making, I'll just make another video comparing the my new fin here, the Mirage Rubber Mermaid fin, this blue one, to the other fins that I've got. Some of them I love really much and one of them I don't. Um, Size wise, with the Mahina Mermaid or Oceanica um, Murfin, as they used to be called, this is a uh, seven size seven to nine, which is it fits nice, but I have to wear three millimeter neoprene socks. Whereas this one, I don't have, I don't think I have to wear socks, but I have yet to try it in the pool. I'll try it in the pool next week. So, as you can see, the size difference to the Mahina Mermaid, it's, it's about, oh, I don't know, about four to five centimeters bigger. Um... I think it would suit a beginner. I'm I still consider myself a beginner as I find that this Murfin for me anyway, I still find it a bit heavy in the water. Um I do get a lot of push but I also get tired faster. <laughs> so I think this one will be a good practice fin too. It, um, my other practice fin is the finished foil. This is still my favorite because I can make turns and flips in it much easier than I can in the Murfin. Um, I can't do a full turn in the Murfin. Maybe it's just my lack of core strength. But, um, slowly, I'm getting there slowly. I can do like that kind of spinning kind of barrel. I don't know what it's called, but you swim like that and then you turn turn around and around like that sideways. <laughs> um, I can do that in this, but not the front and forward flips because um, I don't have enough momentum to make the full turn and come up for air at the same time. Um, this one is my favorite practice fin. This will be my favorite practice fin too. At least now I don't have to worry about altering the parts on the foil, cutting fins and stuff like that. It's already, the shape It's already here. Um, with the finished foil on top, you can see it's a bit, it's roughly about the same size. Um, Except this bit, this bits on the side. This I I don't um what do you call them? Side side fluke tips. Um, let's show you underneath. Yep, it's about the same. You just have the extra bits to make up for this um dip in here. That's that's part of the foil. And I have the old Fin Fun Pro Monofin, which the old one used to be a clear plastic. You can see it in there. I've had one swim in it, but I was really careful because I had read that it breaks easily, so I didn't really have a sw <laughs> much of a swimming. Like, you know, like you see the kids going like this in the water. I didn't have much of it because I was really worried uh, it would break on my feet and cut my feet in half. Because uh, when my feet go in there and the bending happens, it happens when my toes are around here. So I was afraid that it might snap and chop my toes off. <laughs> Pretty stupid. <laughs> so yeah, so size-wise... It's, uh, yeah, it's slightly smaller, but uh, this one is stronger. 
I don't know, it's just for some reason I seem to write rubber fins than I do other kinds of monofins. Because to me it feels um, easier to swim in. Maybe, like I said before, maybe my lack of core strength, but I find them easier to swim in than the plastic ones or the like the other one I have on top of the cupboard, the uh, Finnish Wave. I had trouble swimming in that. Um, but yeah, this is these ones are much nicer because cause they flex and bend, you know. Like it doesn't look so on on dry land, but I swish it in the water and it. It's, it's it's nice and flowy, flowy looking. Um, so yeah, much nicer. I think this one I'll save for some dry photo shoots or something if I ever get around to it, or if some kids want to try it in the tail, I'll make them sit outside a pool and take photos in <laughs> because I don't I don't think that's a that's safe for swimming. That had plastic in there. I don't want to be banned from the pool. So yeah, that's it. Bye bye.